So somebody could be moving away. This could be you. And this has another person concerned. It's like they feel like you're getting away or someone is getting away. They're distancing themselves or they have already done this. Yeah. This is some type of um, hidden emotions that one person has for another person. Or the person that is concerned, they feel like the person that has gotten away or who is getting away is hiding the way that they feel about them. It could be both, like two people could be hiding the way that they feel about each other. And one person is concerned because they feel like that person is moving on or they've just gotten away. This could be a spiritual connection. And it's like both people know it, but both people aren't saying anything about it. There could be something that took place in the past to cause um, this distance or cause another person to move forward. This could be you or whoever the person is that is in concern. As someone who wants to be together again. Yeah, I am so attracted to you. Just being near you is intoxicating. So this is someone who gets really nervous. Um, this could be someone that's shy. They don't know what to say when they're around you. And um, this could be because they don't know how to authentically express their emotions. They could be afraid. Um of opening up. They feel like you were the best thing in their life and now it's like you've distanced yourself. They feel lost or maybe at this time that you could have withdrew from the connection. Um, at that time, they felt lost. They felt like they lost their self and they messed up the connection. But this is someone who is still feeling your energy or they can feel you around them even though you and them are not um, together. This is someone that is hoping that you can forgive them one day. They feel like they crossed the line with you. And they feel like they crossed the line because they were afraid to open up to express how they truly felt. So there could have been some type of gaslighting, mind games being played, some type of trickery. It's like they wanted you to figure this out in a strategic way. We have new love. A door to new love will open soon for you. New love for you is on the way. This could also be a new phase in a relationship if you're already like attached to someone. But there's something um, exciting getting ready to take place. Now, this person could be getting ready to come toward you or this could be you manifesting new love. And whoever this person is that did not want to authentically open up, it's like they're in regret. They feel like it's their fault that you have moved on. Yeah, there's someone who wants to have another chance with one more try. They feel like a connection is worth fighting for. You and them still have a path to go together. Yeah, they don't want this connection to be over. They feel like you and them want the same thing. There's a lot of affection between you and this person. It's pure um, energy of romance. 
And if they weren't sure in the past or they were just afraid to open up now, that person wants to like get in a connection. They want to manifest a long-term relationship with you. Now, there was some type of delays and blocks. These delays and blocks was this person could be needing to heal their inner child. Past trauma, past hurt, bad experiences. It's like they didn't want to like fully open up to the situation because of what they have went through in the past. Yeah, they didn't want to face their emotions. And they could be concerned about you manifesting new love. If this is your divine counterpart, they're concerned about you manifesting a soulmate. Yeah, this is someone who needed to realize that a certain person or um, a certain mindset or energy that they were in was just not for them. This is someone who needed to truly... Um, be open to accepting and loving their self. And you could have also walked away or withdrew from this situation because you felt like this person was just not for you. If you felt rejected by this person, um, that was protection. They weren't in the energy to serve your highest good or they didn't have your best interests at heart. So you just decided to focus on self-love. And this could also be healing as well, like healing your inner child. Yeah, and it's like now you're manifesting a soulmate. It's like you're manifesting what your heart truly desires in a love relationship or a romantic partnership. We have the Ten of Wands and then you have Temperance. Yeah, this person is weighed down with a lot of guilt. It's like they feel exhausted. It's like they can't concentrate on anything. Because they didn't expect for you to like pull back or withdraw. As I say, there was some type of game that they expected for you to just figure out or they thought that they were going to be able to play and it did not work. So it's like forcing this person to find balance or get their life balanced out. Gain self-control. Yeah, because it's like for a long time, this is someone who definitely have wanted to be with um, somebody that they could build the Ten of Pentacles with. It's like they want a long-term relationship. They want, you know, long-term success, a foundation that they can stand on with another person, but they're afraid of it. Something that took place when they were a child is like blocking them off or holding them back from them being able to manifest this. Yeah, this is this is definitely something that they have been wishing for. This is their true wish fulfillment. This is someone who had to mature and separate their self from a lot of things. It's like it wasn't only some type of childhood trauma or something that took place in the past, like bad experiences and different things like that, that was keeping them um, held back. This could be actual people. 
So it wasn't only the energy that they were in, but this could have been like negative influences. This could be things that they've seen other people go through. Bad experiences that they've seen other people go through. It could be family members, friends, people that were close to them. It's like they're separating themselves from something so they could be able to move forward. Yeah, in order to have a new beginning or just start off fresh. And they could be, you know, they could have been in an energy where they were very nervous. They're not accustomed to doing things by their self um, or just. Stepping outside of the box, I would say. They're not accustomed to doing that. It's like they need other people to reassure them. So this could be someone who definitely does not listen to their own intuition. They have to get the okay from other people. And this could be, you know, people that they're getting advice that is just not so good for them. It's like they have to move on from that. Now, whoever this soulmate is, this person that you're manifesting, this is definitely someone that you don't know. So this could be someone that you're getting ready to meet in the near future. And if they've separated their, whoever um, this person is that is concerned about you getting away or moving away, this separation hurt them. They've been hiding this, though. It's like they don't want you to know. They don't want other people to know that they're heartbroken. It's like they went through a lot of emotional pain behind this. And that pain is weighing them down emotionally. It's like they're hiding the fact that they want to balance something out. They want to come toward you. This is someone who have set back, even though you and them are not attached to each other. Something took place in the past where there's this, you know, um, the separation, the distance. You moving on, moving forward. This could be a transition, a transformation. You're on a whole new journey. This has caused an awakening for them. Now it's like they want forgiveness. This person wants to apologize. Because they feel like whatever you have moved on from, this could be similar things that was keeping um, them held up or held back. They've watched you do all of those things. Like go through a healing phase, accept the situation for what it was that you could have been in and just focus on loving yourself. You fed out things that are just not for you. You've moved on from people that are just not for you. And they see how abundant you are. They definitely feel like that you have, you know, um, did a lot of personal work on yourself. This could be a lot of shadow work. I'm getting religious beliefs. So you've gained some type of spiritual wisdom, spiritual knowledge. You've educated yourself on something. And this could be like the truth about spirituality. A lot of things that you could have heard in the past when you were younger. Um, you're realizing that those things aren't true. And people that could have told those things to you, they didn't do their own research. They didn't educate their self. They were just going off of things that they could have heard. 
Yeah, but you definitely educated yourself. You're someone that is very smart. You could be a healer. It's like you've woken up to some type of inner call and this could be your purpose. This has completely helped this person to change their reflection. It's like they're trying. This is someone who is contemplating on coming toward you because they don't want you to get in another connection. This is someone who truly feels like you're made for them. You're the person that they're supposed to be attached to. You're the person that they want to build a um, future with. Yeah, this could definitely be a past life relationship. Like this could, as I say, be your divine counterpart. Or this could be a soulmate. Yeah, it was a lot that went on in the past to slow this person down. But this is someone who realized that they needed to improve their self. If they wanted to see any changes or make changes in their life, they had to do it their self. They couldn't sit back and expect other people to, you know, tell them what they should do with their life. This is someone who needed to step into their power and they feel like you have stepped into your power. The energy that you're in is like determined. You're determined to do something. And this has helped you to be more consistent, do things more practically, and um, it has helped you to improve. Yeah, it's like you're a very strong individual. Whatever it is that you have went through, you've learned some type of lesson and this has brought in a lot of blessings, new beginnings, new opportunities, and a lot of manifestations. Like you're in the energy where you can manifest whatever it is that you want out of life. Yeah, it's like this is somebody that definitely do not want someone else to come toward you. With this Ace of Pentacles. For a commitment, a relationship, a partnership, or starting a new venture with. It's like they don't want that. So it's like they don't want that, but it has took that person like a long time to come toward you. It's like they realize that they have to do things in a practical way. Or as I said, they had to make some type of improvements in order to be able to start a new venture. Now, this is somebody who definitely had people around them trying to block their love life. Maybe they didn't see it. It's like while they're trying to make sure someone else does not come towards you or they just they're concerned about it. They don't want this to happen. This is what was going on in the past. Like somebody was attached to that person or people that they were around. They were trying to block that person off from coming towards you to start this new venture. This could definitely be a soul contract if this is a past life connection. Yeah, there were there were major lessons that needed to be learned. Yeah, and they needed to go through a transformation in order to be able to see growth in their life. Yeah, true love. So this person is definitely um, true love energy. We have very intuitive negativity. They're experiencing bad karma, stability. They tried to block your blessings and then you have love interests. So yeah, they could have confided in different people or a certain person and they told them that um, you were someone that they wanted to manifest. And whoever they were confiding in, this is just someone that's very negative. 
if they listen to whoever this person is, they could have experienced some type of bad karma. But there was a lesson that need, they needed to learn to see that this is someone that was trying to block them off from their blessings. They definitely feel like you're someone that is very in tune, very intuitive. You use your intuition. And they feel like you're very stable, like you have your own financial stability. You're willing to work hard for whatever it is that you want to manifest. Yeah, somebody was definitely trying to make sure that you and that person stay physically um, distant so the emotions would just distance and die off. Because this is someone who knew that both people were like hiding the way that they felt. And as I say, if they've watched you move on, they're concerned about you not feeling this way about them anymore and you just moving towards new love. This is someone who definitely feels like you're their person with official person being here. Yeah. So there could have been somebody that they were in a connection with, with Gold Digger being here. Somebody that they were in a connection with, and this could have been not a relationship. This was something that was not serious because whoever this person is, they were hiding their emotions for you and they weren't accustomed to opening up emotionally. So it was something that was just like a fling. It wasn't that serious. They was attached to someone that um, they could just be attached to. Somebody that they didn't have to be their true authentic self around. But that person was someone that was only out for their money. It's like they were only attached to them for their money or what they can get from that person. So it was like a, a situation where two people did not have emotions for each other, but two people needed to be attached to each other. One person needed another person because they were codependent to them. Another person, they just needed a person, needed this person because um, just to say that they have someone or they're attached to someone. This could have been a lustful connection or something like that. Yeah, this is someone who took a long time. So this is why they're concerned about you moving on or they feel like you've moved forward. They took a long time to say something or face something or want to um, open up to their emotions. If this is a divine connection, um, something is going happening in divine timing. Yeah, but you could be in the energy where you're getting back out there. It's like you're getting ready to um, start dating again or something like that. If you've been in this stage where you're, you've been mainly focused on healing yourself and moving on from things that don't serve purpose in your life. Loving yourself, things like that. We have water sign. You could be a water sign. One of these people could be a water sign. And then you have honeymoon. Yeah, so whoever this whoever this person is, this is definitely someone who um this could be this person wants to move in with you. Or this could be this could be the new love that you're manifesting like whoever that person is that's coming towards you this is going to be someone that you're going to take out your time to get to know you're going to start dating that person things could um this could be you moving in with that person or something like that with change of residence and moving you have pregnancy here there could be a child like this could be someone that you're getting ready to build a family with This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. This is sad. It's like whoever this gold digger is, this person is someone that lied about a pregnancy as well. Because this liar card popped out on pregnancy. 
Now, whoever this person is, they could be pregnant, but they could be pregnant by someone else. This could be someone that does not stay um, in the same area. Like if that person went out of town or on vacation, they hooked up with somebody and they got pregnant. But they wanted to keep whoever the person is that's in love with you stuck because they need them for stability. So they kind of like lied to that person, you know, told that person that they were pregnant. And this held up this person for a long time. And they feel like them not listening to their intuition, it came back to bite them in the long run. There was some type of warning. Like somebody could have told them like, hey, no, that person is not pregnant or that person is lying. That can't be, um, you know, true. But they didn't want to believe it. And this is a lesson that they had to learn. Now it's like, They've wasted a lot of time and they're worried about you manifesting all of the things that they want to have with you with another person. Yeah, somebody definitely lied about a pregnancy. This is crazy. They feel like they've wasted a lot of time and you've been working um, during this entire time, like working on yourself, improving a lot. And you've just moved on. You're very dedicated to whatever it is that you're doing. You're very determined. They're definitely wanting to confess something to you. This could be whoever this person is that lied to them with confession and liar being here. This could be definitely something that you tried to warn them about. Because they feel like your intuition was, was right on point with very intuitive being here. And then you have um, intuition. So whether it was you who cautioned them or warned them about something or someone else, this backfired. If this was you who warned them, they thought about this when the truth came out. They thought about whatever you warned them about. If this is somebody who really want to talk to you to resolve some type of issues or something like that, they want to they want to heal the past. This is someone who wants to patch up whatever took place in the past between you and them. They're wanting to express the truth and this person wants you to express your emotions to them. It's like they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. Yeah, it's like there's... Yeah, this is someone that... They don't know that... If this is someone who is in fear of rejection, they feel like you're moving on, you're manifesting something new. If they come towards you, you're going to reject them. You've accepted the past for what it was and you've completely moved on. The actions that you took, it is helping you to be in this energy of manifestation. It's helping you to be in the energy of personal growth. It's helping you to achieve your goals. It's helping you to be more determined, more practical. And it's like you're building the path to success. Yeah. Now, whatever you have did, this could have took a lot of time with patience being here. But those manifestations are on the way or they're coming right in. Yeah, because you were putting in the work. So we have the lovers and then ask your angel. So you could have, you know, asked or prayed for um, a new connection or something like that. If you felt if you've moved past this, you've accept that person for or accept the situation for what it was and just left it in the past. You're manifest. This is why you're manifesting a new love connection. Because of what you've been praying for. It's like you're praying for whatever it is that you truly desire.
So this could, you could have two different people that are coming toward you. Like somebody that did not want to open up in the past and they were just um, accustomed to a certain energy that they were in and they kept their self held back. But now that they're seeing things differently, they're wanting to communicate with you, come toward you, but then you have someone else coming toward you. Yeah. This is definitely going to be a new person with a new opportunity being here. So there could be some type of choice that you would have to make between whoever this person is that um, was attached to whoever this gold digger is and then a new person. And if this is a spiritual connection, whoever the person is that is like in regret, they're concerned about you moving on. It's like they're just now waking up. You could have been woke in the past. But now that they're woke, this is someone who wants to resolve whatever took place. And um, they feel like they were confused in a toxic cycle where they dealt with a lot of childhood trauma that kept them avoiding the things that they needed to change or they needed to see that they're seeing now. 